Hey, what's up, folks? Brock here at my workbench, aka my parents' patio table, bringing you a little live custom session. I will be focusing on some of the McFarland DC Multiverse action figures. I'm going to be adding some articulation. I'm going to wait until some of you hop on before I get going. But just for those of you that will not be watching this live, and that's probably going to be quite a few of you because it is during the week. I think it's Monday and it's in the morning. So hopefully you guys are at work and COVID hasn't uh, prevented you from making some money, honey. All right. It looks like there's six of you. Hey, what's up? What's up, Mark? So for those of you that will be watching a little bit later. Oh, look at that. That's some little inception right there. What... Uh, you will need to add some of the articulation. You'll want to have a Dremel. And this is the one I have. People always ask me. I have the Dremel 3000 variable speed. However, if you go to my Amazon store, and I think I, I leave a link in each video. I'll have to make sure because this is a live session. So I'll add it if it's not added there automatically. But there is another one uh, that's pretty much the off brand of this that's a lot cheaper and it comes with a lot of you know the different uh, tools what's up que pasó chico draw customs in the house and uh, uh, you can get it from the amazon store uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra but i think it's a it's a good one t-man 978 purchased it and it appears to be just like what i said it's the off brand but you'll need a dremel with some different bits and you'll always want to wear some sort of eye protection. And if you, you know, if it's going to be kicking up a lot of dust, you want to be wearing, you know, a mask. I had this one a long time ago before COVID. So no judgy, no judgings. All right, let's see. Logan Taylor, what's up? Mark, Giovanni, and a few others that's showing that uh, are in the chat. All right, so when... Uh, I, I ended up getting into uh, this line, this McFarlane. I was really looking forward to it. Their first wave wasn't that great, in my opinion. I did like their Unchained Armor Batman, excuse me, Unchained Armor Superman, and also their Hell, uh, was it the Hell, Hell something or other <laughs> uh, suit. I ended up picking that one up. And did I pick up anything else from that wave? I don't remember. Uh, I ended up getting the spawn uh, on a different line, uh, but that was awesome. But I have added some articulation to the figures. Uh, I added to the spawn. There's a guy on Instagram, Figure This Custom, that uh, showed me how to do it on, on the spawn. And then I ended up doing it to this Batman and it it came out pretty darn good. And I'm thinking about repainting it. So what I ended up doing is I added articulation here, here, and and to the to the head that you can't really tell, but I'm gonna show you in just a bit. Uh, if you haven't read the storyline, uh, it, it's really a good storyline. White Knight, Batman White Knight, highly recommend it. That's where this figure is from, and that figure is from part primarily. And then this Azrael is from the second one yeah that's right jc uh the the story is awesome and the, the second one not as good but it does have Azrael. Uh, it, it is a pretty entertaining story it's just in my opinion it's not as good as the the first one but it's still good nonetheless and uh so i want to add some articulation to this dude but what i noticed and i'll get to the comments in a second uh, I started messing around with him. I took the arms off. I was I wanted to remove this piece so I could see the inner workings because it does function a lot differently than, uh, for example, th uh, this figure, which there's a ball, there's like a, a ball peg coming up into the uh, into the lower abdomen area. This, that's where it connects. And then there's another one. Uh, I, be, I believe from the chest going down another ball peg and that's how it's able to to rotate so all you do here let me see if I can just separate now there you go so that ball peg right there so the way that you add articulation is just you just you know cut a little bit into his abdomen you ought to be careful and I'm going to show you live here hopefully with the Azrael figure and that little bit gives you an, a, an extra 
uh, articulation as well as I'm not sure if you can see up in there it's hard for me to see in the lighting if you're able to see how about I just take it off and I'll show you so there's that uh, ball peg that comes down from the chest and then I also gave him a little bit more range and you would be surprised just that little bit right here makes a humongous difference and hopefully somebody that works for McFarland Toys sees some of these videos that some of the customizers uh, have been adding articulation and they just add it to the figure because that would be easy peasy lemon squeezy for them to do right and then we wouldn't have to worry about it uh, I figure this custom also does a thigh swivel I, I just elected not to do it on this figure I didn't think it needed it but if you're interested go check his page out uh, he's not the only one that's doing it. Uh, I found out there's actually numerous people that already have videos uh, adding this articulation because initially I wasn't going to do a video because I didn't. he was taking commissions and I didn't want to cut into his commissions. Um, but I figured the people that are going to be doing that type of mod anyway are going to be customizers and we would have figured it out just by breaking the figure apart. Uh, and, and sure enough, there's a bunch of people on Instagram that have shown it. So I figured, hey, why not? Um, so... That's how I added it here. So getting back to what I was saying, and I'm going to get to the comments in a second. Let me just finish this train of thought. So this is not how this figure works. And I tried to take the jacket off, and then I realized that, um, well, I heated up the jacket. And the way this system works is a completely, it's not like these figures are made. Um, so without telling, I can't, it's kind of hard for me to describe what it is. It's almost like a, it's, it's like a joint like the ankle, very similar that what's up in here. So what uh, I found out and I didn't realize before, and I don't think, I haven't seen uh, any of the reviewers do this and I'm sh maybe some, some of them did, but none of the initial reviews, including the one that I did on Instagram, didn't cover this. Uh, so, you hear that? That's the articulation already on this guy. And you can actually get a lot of range going forward already. That's that's already pretty darn good. And it, I can't cut into anything because the, the connecting piece is very similar to that ankle joint, and I'm not sure if I, if you're you're seeing that. It's almost like a Revel Tech joint, but it's a much stronger type of Revel Tech joint. It's not a Revel Tech joint; it's a McFarland joint, obviously. But just listen to that. See that? And it does give a great range already, and you just really don't don't need to do anything to this figure other than maybe giving it more of a range on the neck. And I don't really want to show you here because um, I don't know if you guys saw, but this Joker came with a blam. I'm actually getting another figure that's coming in. Uh, not that I was going to display him with this head anyway, but eh, I wanted the I wanted the, the, the head done right. Let's see how the they messed up on the hairline. So the way you add neck articulation, let me see if I can pull it out here. Oh, I don't think I did it to this figure. Oh, I didn't do it. Hmm. Let me see. Do I need to do it to this figure? I don't know if I need to do it to that figure. The, the head range is pretty good. What, what you would do is you would want to remove this, uh, this pin right there, just a little heat and pop. And then you would use the Dremel just to cut a little bit into that and you would let the this peg go farther back, right? You can see if you were to remove that. And the trick would be to do it, and because of this color, you wouldn't even notice it. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. All right, so before I get into the Zazrael to add the articulation, let me run through the comments real quick. And there's quite a bit of you in here right now. I'm actually surprised. What are you guys doing this early in the morning? All right. So Mark is in uh, the UK. Oh, it's 6 p.m. Okay. Now that makes sense. 
what's up, Yajaris Guzman? I know that they do it to achieve more articulation, but I always thought that it was way too hollow in the abdomen area. So we're going to take a look at that right now. Uh, Mark, yeah, the figures are very easy to separate. You're, you're going to see, I'm just, I'm just literally going to add a little bit of heat and this will pop off. And I'm going to have to come up with a strategy here and I'll talk about that in a second as soon as I run through the comments. I think I saw James. What's up, James? What's up, Big Kids 77? Working from home. Good for you. That's that's the best way to do it. All right. So I'm I'm gonna use a heat gun. I got this one at a Harbor Freight for like nine bucks. So it's it's worth it. It's got two settings. So I'm just gonna add heat down here. I want to separate it from uh, the lower abdomen area first, and then I'll tell you why. Actually, how about I just tell you right now? Because I was thinking with this figure because of the sculpt. I don't know how much more range I really want to give the upper abdomen uh, if it will be necessary because if I give, it's already running into, I hope you guys can see, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing because it's really bright out here. Uh, it's already running into the lower abdomen, the sculpt is running into it. So I don't think even adding it more articulation is, you see how that's running into it? Maybe you can't right there in that area. But I think it would be worth adding articulation here because then that part will be able to bend over a little bit more. So that's my strategy. I'm going to pop it off. I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to drill this out first, see how that looks and then move on from there. What's up, Douglas? Yeah, that bat thanks dude. Thanks, Arthur. What's up, Toy Bandit? All right, so I'm just gonna separate it here. It should come out. It looks like I heated up a little bit too high. I should have heated up lower. I can feel it in my fingers. There you go. So that was that easy. I didn't even have to force it that hard. And I don't think I needed to go farther back. I mean I'm gonna let me pop it on again. I just wanna see. Should have checked. I think he's already he already has enough range going back in my opinion. I I wouldn't want him I wouldn't want more range anyway. Lewis, I have done the leg swivel custom. I did it on spawn. Uh, check out my Instagram at Life with Brock and just go back down in the feed and you can see it, it does make a difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dremel just a little bit here. And as you can see, none of this has sculpt and all of this is really in um it's going to be hidden by this by this waste piece the way they did it and, I, and i'm really appreciating the more i mess around with mcfarland's figure or figures i should say the more i'm appreciating the way they're doing it really the uh, it's caused me to i uh, just enjoy their the, the way that they've handled it the, the legs look good um i like the idea of of the swivel that they're incorporating it and then obviously the way that they did this head and i think i reviewed it somewhere it's just super smart super smart and uh the playability with the figure is great the only thing i didn't really like uh that they could improve on is is this and i've already covered that issue and i think the more figures mcfarland does in the line just like uh my favorite line to collect is marvel legends just like marvel legends are improving I think McFarlane, I mean, for his, his first figures out, the first year he's producing them, he's producing some just amazing looking figures at the same price point as Marvel Legends and in a uh, and for DC. So I'm excited to get those characters. All right, let me get this drill going. And I'm just gonna select, I'm trying to see which one I should select. So the key here is I'm gonna need to make the uh, the hole about as wide as that peg underneath the ball so that it can go into uh, the area that I'm excavating excavating drilling out 
so it's going to actually be a fairly good chunk. So let's let's do this. Let me let me drill some, and then I'll interact with you guys in the chat if you're asking questions. My goggles are on. Let's see if I can get it in here without a, uh, so you guys can see. And it's always good at when you're when you're doing this cut less than you think initially and since i've done this a few times i kind of already have an idea of what i need to do but i just want to give you the um the full experience oh, how about i do this on camera <laughs> can't give you the full experience off camera So I'm definitely, it's gonna need more, but what you wanna do is you always wanna to try to, uh, you wanna test fit it. Just giving it a little heat to make it easy to, uh, to go in. All right. Putting that ball in the center. So that's already giving me more range than before. You can see that. question is do I need more than that I don't think I need more than that so I think I may just stop what do you guys think what's up toy bandit what's up Arthur oh I think I already said what's up to you what's up Lewis and I think I did answer your question already I'm going back already sorry uh, I'm actually okay so JC is saying McFarland's figs are so good compared to Legends, but the size is truthfully the problem. I don't, I initially thought that. Uh, and I remember McFarland saying, how are you going to complain that I'm giving you a bigger figure? <laughs> right? I'm giving you more plastic for the same amount of money. Uh, why, why are you guys complaining about that? He didn't get it. And I'm kind of, I'm on board with him. I'm on board with McFarland right now based on what he's giving us. Uh, I'm I'm good with him starting his own line. Uh, I can always, for me, I can always make custom uh, from Marvel Legends of DC figures. That's for me personally, obviously. And I have already. And then those are the ones that I will display. But I think I'm going to be displaying these with some of the uh, Marvel Selects that I have. Because they do go well. So I think... I think I'm good right there. What's up, Justin? Kaitor ZX, what is going on? Desdichado, 8.36 p.m. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I can't believe there's 44 of you in here right now. What's up, Agent Omega? He says, uh, nice, I wish I could do that to Robin from the te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. There's no room. Ah, oh, bummer. Uh, JC said to, uh, he, that he wasn't complaining. It's just that we got so many legends kind of hard. Yeah, I, I like I'm with you. I, I love the Marvel Legends scale. But I'm telling you right now, JC, the more I've played with these figures. Or, and uh, recently, I, uh, my buddy um, Plastic Addict, uh, he's been having uh, some pose-offs in a couple of the pages uh, that he does on... Um, on Facebook, uh, once uh, Open Box Mafia, and the other one's the Syndicate Toy Hunters. Highly recommend that you guys go check both of those pages out. But I've been messing around with these figures, and I just uh, McFarland did it. He's done a great job. Look, the other thing I was gonna do is I was gonna add Kiki to this, and I completely forgot. Can you guys give me one minute to run inside the house, and I'm gonna show you a product that is actually better than the future floor polish that I peddled for so many years. I, I, and future floor polish is a great uh, uh, tool for 
for us to have in the figure community. But let me go get this product called Kiki and you're gonna see uh, that I think that's the way to go. Give me one minute and I'll be right back. Let me see how many of the 43 are still here when I get back. I hustle, guys. I'm back. Let me see. Oh, I lost one. Okay. So we got 42 in the chat. So this is the product uh, that I got recently. I had heard about this for the no, last couple of years. And they used to sell it on eBay, but my buddy Nathan Simmons is selling it right now. And what I'll do is I'll link you to his Facebook page. If I forget, uh, remind me in the comments. But uh, this is really uh, good, good stuff. I already tried it out and it does work better than uh, Future Floor Polish. It makes it a lot tighter and it dries clear. So, for example, my complaint about this figure in particular was that uh, the right foot had a very loose, I shouldn't say very loose, but loose enough not to hold the weight of this figure bit because this figure is substantial. And then the other problem is right there. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll throw some Kiki on there to see if it'll help and it should help uh, get it tighter. But what I was thinking about doing was actually heating it up and then squeezing this um, and then cooling it off. But Kiki, let, let's, let's get this going. It comes with this small metal applicator at the end And it almost comes out in the foam. Looks like foam. Now I can't tell you what the substance is there. It could be some spuchkaka. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it could be. I don't know who. Ma I forget the guy's name who makes it, but like I said, Nate Simmons. And I I got this for eight bucks, and that will last a really long time. So all you do is you apply it there. And you swirl this around. I'm just wiping off the excess. You got more than you bargained for here in this live session. So I think I'm going to just leave it like that. I'm not going to add any more. And let's try the kiki on the knee part right here where it's not catching. Let me see how I can. Uh, where should I apply? I think I'm going to apply it up here. I'm just working it in. And I'm going to actually have to let that sit for, for a couple of hours for it to harden up. Uh, let me see where I'm, I'm looking at the chat right now. So JC says, I tried heating and squishing together and it didn't do anything after a little bit. It gets loose again. Okay. Oh, so he, he may have uh, given me the friend price. <laughs> I'll have to thank him for that. Uh, ten, is 10 shipped? If you have the direct link, if you can put it in the comments right now, if people are interested. I think I'm going to add it to this side too, just because. This one's not as bad, but I still feel they, they could have improved. I, don't, I just don't know how they would have done it. Just made it. I guess made made this a little bit tighter. Yeah, so that's going to dry clear. It's it's wet right there, but Man, I can't believe there's 51 people up in here. Ask me questions, guys. I'll, I'll, since there's that many of you, I'm really actually surprised. So I'm just going to let that sit. And let me see. I think there was... Oh, you know what? There was another area. 
so on these joints here, these, and I'm just calling them Revel Tech because that's where I saw them first. I'm gonna add some some of the stuff right there too. I'm barely using the. There's not much I'm adding in, and I would tell you when you first apply, just like Future Floor Polish, you want to apply. Le like I think I may have applied too much to the shoe. You see how it's coming through. Do I have any cotton swabs out here? Probably. Oh, here we go. Hey, how about that? Let me uh, add Kiki to the the Batman figure too while I'm at it. Agent Omega says, "Oh, I knew nothing of this. Yeah, I just uh, I had heard about it and I heard people talk about it, and they got it off of eBay. But um, but Nate when." He contacted the, the guy that sells it, and now he's carrying it at his store. And it's here in the United States, so you don't have to wait for it to come from, you know, wherever wherever else in, in the in the world. I'm uh, not, you'll have to, if you're not, like if you're in the UK or Mexico or uh, Peru, where else I got people? Ecuador, Australia, some of the people that, uh, that watch this channel. I don't know if Nate ships there, but uh, just just check with him. I think I've given it probably all the range I, I want. What do you guys think? By the way, I didn't see you guys answer this. Hey, what's up, Rafael? Uh, I don't I don't think McFarland would get the uh, Marvel license. Again, that's just my opinion. And I and I was thinking, what if, you know, what if the Marvel guys, the Marvel Legends guys got the DC license? I think it's better that uh they're they're doing, you know, different properties. That way there's some serious competition. Yeah, I, Wayne, I'm looking for forward to McFarlane doing the Lobo, but that may be I don't know if DC will have him do it. But right away. They did just put one out. Storm just put one out that, that looks pretty good. Uh, McFarlane did not skip leg day on this guy. Look at look at this guy is is thick. Where's the Omega Red? Just to give you an idea, this is the Omega Red leg, and it's one of the more buff figures. And Omega Red is is a monster, right? This dude right here in the comics, he's like six two six four, and so it's a it's a pretty decent size muscular leg. I also like the fact look at look at the difference in bucks here. Super slender. Yeah, man, that to me that looks amazing. Captures the character look. But uh, back to customizing. I don't think I'm going to add. Yeah, if you just hopped on, I'm, I'm using Kiki. And I, I said that I'll be putting a link to uh, Nate Simmons' page. Now, one thing I would prefer, I would love to see uh, uh, Todd McFarland's people stiffen these, especially the toe joints. They need to be a lot stiffer than this. My, did I lose you? Connect. Somebody was trying to call me. Some of the McFarland figures, like the spawn, was perfect. The the toe tolerance, the toe joint. I found this to be too true with the Beast that uh, Marvel Legends released. They need to make this as tight as possible. Well, it's not really chicken legs for this upper torso. You got to think about this is armor. So uh, to me, the proportions are, are correct, especially if you look at the comic book. Uh, th this is all stuff that, that Azrael puts on. And obviously he's got like nothing on the legs, right? There's no armor bits on the legs. So it, it, it looks right uh, from the character design. I don't remember if I put stuff in there. Yeah. All right, let me put this guy aside. 
Let me get back to bats here. Uh, this Batman, after I added the articulation, was, uh, it's just, it's awesome. It's even better than, than it was before. But one of the things is he's very difficult to, to stand with uh, his tiny, tiny feet. Now, uh, when I eventually get my, my man cave and my display back up when, when, we, uh, when we move into uh, a new home... This guy is gonna be in a stand. I visualize this guy being in a stand or just standing like, like that. I like the stoic look. Everything else about him was on the money uh, as far as tightness wise. But I, since I have the Kiki out, might as well do the ankles. Because if you don't have a strong base, it, he'll be nearly impossible to, to stand. But as you can see, I'm, I'm using very little of the product. And, and uh, unfortunately, you're not going to see it in this video. But maybe if I go live again, and maybe next week sometime, I'll bring these guys back out so you can see the, the, the difference. And you'll be able to tell immediately on the toes. So let me... Actually, he's already kind of stiffening up. That's what she said. Yeah, he's already stiffening up, so that, that's, that's a good sign. What's up, the Boxing Jedi? Thanks for joining this live session. And I'm essentially done. Uh, my plan was I was going to add articulation to this guy, but he doesn't need it. If you're just joining in now, you just have to go ahead and crank it. Don't be afraid. You'll hear cracks, and that's just the the joint that they're using. It's the ratchet in that joint. Can you see that? And he's got a really good range back. And and what they did, they uh, they did the zipper up this piece to its range. So that's awesome. So if you don't see the zipper when you're posing him, you're not extending it to its full capability. So get go give that a look. This figure is super fun. And uh, I, I almost wish they had more of the GTO from that, uh, from that book. I did pop these things off. I did at the very beginning of the video, Arthur. So uh, when I end this, ch I, I think I'm gonna end it because I don't wanna keep talking here. Uh, without having stuff to show you but I will be moving on and working on this Omega Red body um, the saber tooth that I'm working on I was initially and I'm just gonna say this quick and then I'm gonna hop off after I answer questions I was gonna use the arms that came with um, with this dude right here if you saw the last session that I had but I just don't like the hands and I, I was going to work on them. You see, I started sculpting. But then I'm like, you know, it just didn't does, doesn't look like saber tooth hands to me. So, But guess what I have? I had this saber tooth. And those hands are perfect saber tooth hands. And they will work perfectly with the Omega Red Buck. So I'm just going to use that. I just have to uh, take this off and, and, and re-sculpt this area. And uh, there you have it. But I'm going to be doing that off camera. Let me run through the chat one last time and uh, see who's who's still here. I'm trying to flip the camera so I can talk to you face to face. All right, all right. So let me see. As uh, Vic Rodriguez, uh, you can just go back and watch it, bro. It's not. Uh, I, I don't think I've been on here for that long. I'm going to end it right now. The Hercules arms would be good, at least for the bicep. Yeah, but you know what? The this this bicep is is going to be just fine for the Omega Bread bicep is going to work just fine. And it'll fit perfect and I don't have to worry about you know messing around with the articulation like I was doing with this, you know, drilling and whatever. Not the artic but see I had I already had formed the elbow and I was sculpting his uh his gloves. I'll just have to do it on this figure. 
unfortunately, I'm going to have to tear this guy up. And apparently he, uh, actually, I'm not going to be tearing him up. I'm just going to be getting rid of the hands. I'll be using his hands. And then I'll be re-sculpting this on, on, on that saber tooth. Yeah, he just doesn't look like saber tooth to me. He looks more like a vampire. I think they did the, that's not a saber tooth look, in my opinion. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. If you guys don't have any other comments, will you be using the Omega Red Leg? Yes, yeah, the, the Omega Red Legs are already done. Or, excuse me, I started. I sculpted here. But I'm thinking about doing some additional sculpting, his, his uniform. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully that was educational. Share the video with uh, some of your buddies that may be interested in doing that modification. And then I will see you probably Friday or Saturday when I release the next This Week in Custom. All right, guys, peace out. As soon as I figure out how to turn this thing off. How do I turn this off? What happened? Where is it? Where is it?